All right, so here's a quick overview of CGX's create function. I'm going to show you how it works real quick. Now, no matter what settings are already there, one way I recommend starting with create is the top left of the logo. There's a little tiny reset button. I say hit that. OK, so once you hit that, it'll create the layer stack and set everything to normal, if you will, or neutral, except a little bit of intensity. And of course, you see the colors coming through because of intensity. So, you know, we have highlights in the orange range right now and shadows in the blue range. It's a simple a default to get you started and of course if you pulled intensity really high you start seeing that result in general this is a cool look that's one of the reasons we picked this as a default it looks pretty nice but you hit the little reset button and you're started you know off you go and immediately you can choose if you want to make it more yellow and more red this is based on the idea of portrait work because skin tones tend to be you know either too yellow or too red and that's why we have a quick little hue shift that goes back and forth if you need to adjust that and of course everything from then on is pretty straightforward you have saturation which you can take up or down and of course you have brightness pretty predictable results but one of the things um and of course contrast excuse me and you have contrast but what i want to make it clear how create works is that it's using curves once again that's the hallmark of cgx okay so intensity to you know choose your color for the highlights and shadows and they blend together which is why we only have highlights and shadows because they kind of come together and create a cool mid-tone blend all right that's done with curves rgb curves okay which is not always easy to understand but it works with cgx so smoothly right and then brightness same story if i increase the brightness you see what's happening the curves are being calculated to create a nice smooth pleasing brightness as well as our contrast. And these are handled by separate um, curves layers because then you can toggle them on and off. But that's the explore section. Make sure you watch the video on that. So as you can see, we have beautiful S curves um, for contrast boosting and it works so well. But on top of that, vibrance um, is used for our saturation. Vibrance on color blend mode. You know, we're, we're very transparent here at MVP. We want to show you that. So even if you crank the saturation, you get a pleasing result right and if you turn it down you still get a pleasing result it's targeting the color the chroma data more specifically with these settings and the specific um, adjustment layer giving you a smoother boost of saturation right so it's not just another way of using the same tools in photoshop we have adapted it if you will to use the best settings on all of these tools but also like i said the beautiful control of curves so while you're here on create like i said i always recommend to if you want to start and create to hit the little reset and then start playing around. So I'm going to take the intensity up a bit, make my highlights maybe a little more greenish yellow and make my shadows maybe a little more purple and increase the intensity. And then I might take saturation up. I'm going to do this a little bit higher than normal, probably than I want to do just to show you guys in the video. There we go. And, you know, if you're just not sure, but you're playing around, you're kind of dialing in what you want with the power of curves. And then you think, I sort of like this, but it's a little strong. Well, right here or on the layer stack, whatever, take the opacity down, dial in the color exactly how you want. And if you feel good about that and you're happy with that, hit the little plus button in the bottom right to create a preset. So we can call this one, how about greens and pinks? I don't know why. And we'll put it under projects, save. Okay, cool. Now if we go to presets, we'll see under projects, there is our, where did it go? greens and pinks <laughs> so we can go to the previous one we had go there and back to our greens and pinks there's a cgx test i was doing earlier the presets are really fast so that's the fastest way to use create we call the tab create because you are kind of more directing what you want even though it's still exploratory so like at this point if i like what i have okay but i'm not sure let's put the opacity back up i can hit the play button and that'll kind of reshuffle within a very small range it'll reshuffle where i am already at just giving me some variation without going crazy of the area that i'm at i can't choose the range but for the most part if i click this button i can get variations on that look until i'm pleased with it and then maybe take the opacity of it down and i'm happy with it right that's the beauty of create and that's why it's a little more directive if you will but still fun and fast <music>